Good morning, kids. Welcome to Time with Children. I've got a question for you. Yes, you. Does your family have any favorite family recipes that they absolutely love to make? The kind that when you're walking past the kitchen, all you can do is just go, oh, it smells so good. I can't wait for it to be ready. Why isn't it ready now? I want it now. That kind of recipe. So for me, it's a recipe called chess cake, not cheesecake, chess cake. It was passed down from my grandmother to my mother to me, and I love to make it. As you can see, I've got ingredients in front of me right now, and I'm about to make it. And yes, you're gonna be salivating a little bit, and yes, you're gonna be jealous that you're not here with me when it's done, and I'm sorry for that. But maybe that will inspire you to make something at home. And my question for you is, what is that recipe for you? And can you imagine it right now? Can you picture what it's like when your mom or your dad or your grandparents are in the kitchen making it? And can you imagine, can you picture or imagine that sense of anticipation that you get as it's being prepared and as you smell it, as it's cooking in the oven or as it's being stirred on the stovetop? You know that sense of anticipation? That sense of excitement, just ready for it? That's what we're going to be talking about today. This cake starts out with just a few ingredients. Eggs, cream cheese, butter, powdered sugar. And, if you're lazy like me, a box of cake mix. Right now, all I can do is let my imagination take over. Can you imagine what it's going to look like? Or better yet, what it's going to taste like? I sure hope it tastes as good as I think it's going to. All right, setting the egg timer, cranking it to 40 minutes. And now, it's ready to throw in the oven. All that's left is to wait and wait. Oh yeah, and probably wait some more. Ugh, if only there was a way to speed this up. Yabba dabba do, it smells so good. Ooh, this is giving me a hope that it's gonna turn out okay. Love those aromas that are wafting from the oven. Huh? Uh, uh, I wasn't sleeping. I was uh, testing, I was smelling the floor. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Doesn't matter. Egg timer went off. It's time to pull up. Yes, it's ready. Ah, oh, smells so good. The way we live our lives as a people of hope is kind of like smelling something yummy being made in the kitchen. And even though you haven't eaten it yet, you know it's going to be good just by the smell. As Christians, we have big hopes that. God will bring peace to the world around us and teach us how to live and love like Jesus. And it's clear as we look around that God's still working in the kitchen. But once you've experienced God's love for you and you know that God really does love you, yes you, 
there's good reason to believe that you're putting your hope in something real. And maybe God's even inviting you into the kitchen to help with the cooking. Let's pray. God, we thank you for loving us. And now that we've gotten a taste of your amazing love, we pray that you fill us with hope for incredible things to come. Amen.